Hey guys, it is Tanya and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Let's Build a Bakery Part 4. We took a little bit of a break from this series because I had a ton of other stuff that I was working on that I wanted to share with you guys. So I hope you liked the speed builds that came out recently and the more live builds that came out recently. I had worked on the Cape Cod tiny houses as well as the every room is a random pack challenge. That was a lot of fun. And then we got the announce for eco lifestyle so this week's been kind of crazy but we're back at our bakery i'm excited to go through some suggestions and just see how i'm feeling after taking a couple days off from this build and see what we come up with starting off i'm thinking that there is too much green on the roof some of you guys liked it some of you didn't but i'm not sure how i feel about it anymore maybe a little bit would be nice up here but i feel like there's just a little bit too much potentially Makes more sense for most of the roof to be roof texture. Um, and even where you enter, I think, might be. We could have, like, this little section that is a more green area. Uh, I think that makes sense. I might even fence it off as well. Have it be just a little bit more separate. Yeah, I think I like that. Maybe even add this little fence piece there. And of course, that get rid of all of the wallpaper. That was a pretty easy fix, except I missed that piece. All right, moving inward. A lot of you guys liked the booth seating that we had. However, the general consensus, I think, for myself and you guys was that there just wasn't enough space for it because the line was so far out. Whereas if I moved it back like this, we could still put the booth seating and have other seating as well. Uh, I also had a suggestion that I actually really want to try out which was to try instead of using this fence using some dividers from one of the packs so let's go check and see which ones that we got with dine out maybe if we scale some of these down they could work especially because i think we're going to be changing the wood floor in here to a different color or different texture let's just get move objects on first and see if this idea will even look good i want to try it out though because i really like these pieces and i think it could look nice to have a little bit more of an updated lit up look like this it's so pretty and it would add a little bit more privacy to the dining space i might even like it just keeping the fence there as well so it's kind of combined it has that those metal features in it that's kind of cool let's check out the other colors maybe like a darker wood i'm trying to think what goes well with the bright colors we already have in the background because the orange might be a little bit too much or it might be complementary because Orange goes very well with blue and we have the yellow floors back there, but I'm not sure, but we're going to try that and I'm going to actually grab the booth seating while we're here. I think I liked this one the best in like a blue swatch though. So let's place that down and see what we think. It looks so cute. Oh my goodness. Okay. You don't even see the fencing too much, so I guess the colors are fine. Uh, it can tie in whatever table we choose, whether it's that one or another one. But let's change the floor out. A lot of you guys wanted a warm wood tone, and I think I agree on that. Not sure if I want this one, though, but I do like it because it does look newer, but not super new. It's really bright and cheerful. There's also this base game one. We really want to go orange. There's that one. Good old jungle adventure is always a nice option, but I feel like it doesn't quite fit the theme in here, I don't think. But at the same time, it's jungle adventure flooring. And I love jungle adventure flooring. I think I'm going to go with the first one that we looked at. kind of want more of a simple modern table like this, where it's just ultra simple. Because another suggestion I got was for the window over here, potentially to have some tables that uh, could be bar seating. So in addition to have that booth seat, we could have some bar seating over here. And I was kind of thinking we could use the high top tables that we got with Discovery University in this more modern look. Connect these in the middle there. It's kind of what I was thinking. That seems like what I see for bar seating most of the time. It is blocking off here a little bit. Uh, yeah. I was also thinking maybe these windows aren't even like facing into the place. They're just the display area, which looks really cool from outside and then gives us another wall to work with for uh, fun decorations and stuff. Obviously it gets rid of the light from those windows, but it could add a nice little pop of color over there. Maybe more of this blue. Maybe add the blue on the inside of the wall. 
kind of a cool look. Obviously, we'd have to maneuver the cakes around and stuff, but I, I kind of like the idea of having just decorative window spaces like that. I think that's pretty realistic in a variety of stores. We could even do something like that. So they're just in a case on both sides, which kind of looks silly. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I kind of like the idea, but at the same time, I'm not sure. Regardless, there needs to be another cake over here unless we put that one in the center. But even scale it up to make it just this really big cake. I like that. I'm gonna move the trash over here. It makes more sense to me to have it by the seating space. I'm kind of modeling this bar area after some of the little bar areas I've seen at frozen yogurt places. Ooh, these chairs actually match the floor. They're quite modern. You're not really gonna be able to get by here though. That is the issue we are facing. But the idea is so cute. Maybe just one table. We move it over here so it's like partially in the window. The only other thing I can think of is only having two of these, but I really like having the three over here, centering with the logo. I think it looks so cute. Maybe we'll just make these ones functional. And then over here, I'm gonna fill up all of these spaces and maybe try to decoratively tuck some of these under so your sims can still get by and it looks like this is a functional space, but it's not. You can only sit at these ones. I think that could work because your sim should be able to walk right by there. Testing it out now. Let's see if it works. Oh, I love the entrance. Ooh, yup. Okay. And you can go through this, right? Yes. Perfect. I think if we snapped them too, our sim wouldn't be able to walk by there, but I guess I could test that as well. But I also really like the look of them being a little bit more all over the place. So let's see if she can get through here. She still can. Hmm. Let me know what you guys think of that. Should I have the functional chairs or the ones that are shoved over the, under the counter a little bit? Because I do think they look nice. With those chairs, let's see what other swatches are on them. Ooh, maybe this one because then it brings in the blue, but it's a deeper blue. I don't know. Do I want the blue or do I want the white? I kind of like both of them. Maybe we do a mixture of them. It's fun. I like that. I, I feel like I've seen that a lot in... Uh, little places like this. With that, I feel like I should grab the tables from Tiny Living and have a couple of those in here as well. Just maybe like two or three of them out here. Maybe just two seaters. I guess we could have more than two seats for some of them. I just want to make sure that this is in the best spaces it can be. And then also, I don't know if the dark blue now clashes with the light blue we have. It might. I kind of feel like it does. So I think for at least the chairs out here, these are just going to be white. Maybe the booth seating over there could have the dark blue though. I think I like it. There's a lot of different wood tones going on, but uh, there's not a ton I can do about that. But I think I am going to switch this to that more orangey tone because it feels like we're embracing that now with the tile, with this wood tone, with the floor, with these seats. I think it's kind of fun. Tiny living is coming in handy here because we also got these really cute paintings of cupcakes. And I think I wanna have a couple of them over here so we can have like the little dessert corner because we have this one from Tiny Living, well, these from Tiny Living and this one from City Living, all the living packs. So let's get a couple of different swatches going here. Ooh, the blue one's really cute. And have that over there, nice. I'm not gonna put the temperature controls near the front door because we don't really want customers to be messing with them. So I'm gonna put them back here. I might even get a fire prevention system utility panel. This is not, <laughs> I had to read that directly off. I don't think I've ever used one of these before, but it'd be nice if the fires could be put out pretty easily in a, you know, a business, I guess. I, I can't imagine like, the stress if you have all these customers and the whole place is burning down. So I think that, would be good because I think that's the one that adds sprinklers to the ceilings if I'm thinking of that correctly. I feel like the tables need something on them. I kind of wish there was a version of this that was just a little paper table tent instead of these because they seem a little bit too fancy, but it's the kind of thing I was thinking, you know, have the current promotions going on like every Tuesday it's, you know, kids eat free day or whatever. Uh, that's kind of what I was thinking for these. So I'm just gonna put a couple of those around. Granted, that's more of a like frozen yogurt thing than a bakery thing, but I think you get what I mean. Maybe there is certain specials that they have certain days of the week or for the upcoming holidays. I really like that. I think we need a little 
flower thing of some sort. I'm gonna place that over here. I might even move the trash over to this corner, but I don't know if that's too out of the way. Some places have these coat racks by the door. I think that could be a nice little touch. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with the white one. I really wish I could get this logo in a rug because I could imagine you walking in and the name of the bakery is on the rug right there. With cats and dogs, we got these cute welcome mats, but they're only cats dogs, no cats, and no dogs. Why couldn't we have just gotten a regular welcome mat with like Simlish text on it? Oh, that would have been so cute. I guess something like this could work as a welcome mat. I think we need one of these little cork boards that has all the things going on. You can come post up when you are selling something or looking to take a class, lost dog. I feel like that's something I often see in places like this. And maybe just this little plant over there. I think we could add some of these vending machines behind the counter as well. So maybe not all of the uh, space here is for baked goods. It could be also for some refrigerated goodies. And I gotta figure out what I wanna put on these shelves as well. Maybe the refrigerated stuff even goes in the middle there. So we can put something cute on the top of this section. What could go up there? Maybe one of these decals? That's kind of cute. I don't think it's what I was looking for though. What about the little cupcake neon sign? I didn't even remember we had this. Oh, that is so cute. He like has to be up here, right? That's adorable. Oh, this little sign is blue and has a piece of cake on it. We definitely need that. I feel like we would have some sort of blinds on these. They look kind of silly, but I feel like all of the colors are a little bit too much. The blue blends in too much, and on the outside of the build, I think I love that. But the inside, it might be too much. Let me know what you guys think, though. Do you think the blue works? It's like they're built into the windows. I just think it would be nice to have something we can close. Maybe if we do these ones and scale them down? I feel like it's blocking more than I want it to, and then there's the clipping going on. But I guess for the moment, I'm gonna leave those and I will let you guys let me know what you think. Probably don't need those in this window though, cause it's a display window. I'm gonna throw a few more decorations around the place. Some tea, some other little pastries, maybe a little bread box. I think some fresh fruit up here would be nice as well. I had a couple suggestions that I hollow out part of this to put the little mini fridge in there. And I think that'd be a good spot to put it and maybe some shelving above it, or maybe just some cabinet pieces. I could see that just being nice extra storage space. Maybe something like that. It might be nice to put another cork board back here for maybe employee related things. Granted, I do think that this is like a family owned and operated place. We could still have some notes up there based on who's working when, what needs to be done at what time. Maybe we'll add a calendar as well. Honestly, I could see like grandma going for this one. I think that would be so fun. Ooh, maybe that one actually. Yeah. Get a couple of postcards up here as well. Maybe a couple of little sticky notes like you were supposed to do this on this date or maybe that's when the electric bill is due or something. I really like the idea of having one by the register. Maybe it's a note to remember something you need to do or how to cash out the drawer for the, uh, the kids that are helping out here since, you know, family owned. I like that. I think that's pretty good. I wonder if one of these is a cooking book. That could be something nice to sell, like baking or cooking, especially if they're in a stand like these are, that could look nice up there. There is a coffee cup one. Hmm, I think on the end here, that might look nice. There's also a book version of it. So there's like a little notebook and a book. Hmm, I've put them both right there. I'm not sure if I want both or just one of them, but I like the idea of having something for sale like that. Also just realized I don't really have a menu, so maybe something like this over here would be good. All right, we really need to move on into this kitchen because we haven't touched it yet and this is part four. I think I'm liking the brown version of the cupcake machine. And I think we're gonna put it over there. Then I'm gonna add one more sink back here. And I think we're honestly gonna need a stove and a counter. It's so big. You guys told me it'll still work if I size it down, but I'm afraid like the cupcakes might be floating. I'm not sure if that's the case, but I don't want it to look like that. So I, I'm a little bit conflicted and I don't think my Sims are gonna be able to get by it. Oh, this item is enormous. I guess I'm just gonna figure it out on this wall. We really only need a stove and a sink in here anyway. 
feel like there's not a lot we can put in here to make this look nice. A little range hood here, a little towel, also a paper towel dispenser and a soap dispenser. This could be like a dish towel maybe, but I feel like these are important things to have. I don't want them too close to the stove because it's a fire hazard. I'm gonna size down the soap dispenser. I always felt like it was a little bit too big and I, I guess I'll really get rid of the, uh, the dish rag. A little bit too dark in here, so I think that helps a bit. Upstairs we're using these black windows, but I think downstairs they should still be the blue because it just doesn't work in this kitchen for them to be that color. I'm gonna put the sink back over here. Maybe we can just make this little corner look nice. You're not really gonna be able to access those counters, but you can access the sink. I have a little end piece over there to finish it off. Then we have our lonely little stove, which I think works pretty well. I could use these end pieces on either side to make it a little bit more anchored in the space and built in. Yeah, I think I like that. Maybe put another one of these back here. Definitely put all kinds of little knickknacks you would need, not knickknacks, but items you would use when baking, various utensils. I think having some olive oils makes sense. So let's place these over here. Are those olive oils, vegetable oils? Having some vegetable oils makes sense. Also some more of these little coffee pots I think is nice. Never enough spoons. And some blinds in here. I'm really not sure what else to put in here, but if you guys have ideas, let me know. It does feel very bare, but a majority of what we have, I think looks nice behind the counters. And then this is just where you would go if you have something you wanna cook on the actual stove. And of course the cupcake machine. All right, gonna move on into the bathroom. Don't think we're gonna spend too much time on this because it should just be fairly simple. I don't think we're gonna be able to fit stalls in here though. Yeah, that's just not in the cards. That, that looks quite ridiculous. You'd have to squeeze by the wall there. So we're not gonna do that. I think it's just gonna be a single bathroom. Yeah, I think a single bathroom. We'll put the toilet over here. Maybe one of these that has like excess toilet paper and stuff in it that we would put out as needed. Or one of these might make a little bit more sense and it matches the color scheme very well. So just gonna tuck that over there. I think in here we're gonna use the darker blue counters. Or maybe just the darker blue sink over there. One of these older style mirrors. Getting our good old paper towel dispensers, some soap, and a trash can. I think that's all we need for this bathroom. It's not the most exciting bathroom. I, I don't know, maybe some artwork somewhere? There we go. We got some flowers. Maybe what's missing is a window. Is this supposed to have a window? I mean, that does match, but it doesn't match the inside. Maybe I could just make this white. Get some fresh air in there. I do a lot of bathrooms that are not on the sides of buildings so they don't have windows but it's nice to have that sometimes and i'm actually gonna add a plant in here i think so there's just a little bit more life because it's so sad also i had imagined that the bathroom and like the kitchen space and stuff was a little bit outdated i don't know if we want to add any like cracks or tears i don't want it to look disgusting but a little bit worn out potentially like i don't mind that idea just like one right do something similar in the kitchen. Just a couple of things here or there. Perfect. All right, I think other than a couple of, you know, more details here and there, based on whatever feedback I get, the downstairs is done, which means it's time to work on upstairs. I did get feedback to put this arch over here instead so that the archway leads into there from the kitchen instead of having to walk through the dining room. And you're definitely right. I also mentioned that all of this was placeholder furniture, but some of you guys really like the green chairs. So we'll see what we do about that. And of course I was just talking about um, who I thought could be where and, uh, I wasn't really meaning who was gonna be where, just ideas of who could be in each room. Uh, but you guys made sure to point out that if I have two Sims sharing a space, they should have the biggest bedroom. And of course they should. Uh, I was just mentioning, you know, uh, talking as I was thinking basically. So I think we are gonna have two kids or teenagers of some sort in their grandparents or grandparent, and then parent or parents. Uh, I gotta figure that out as we go. A lot of times I have like a, you know, a general concept like that. And as I'm building, I get more ideas and the build evolves, but we do need a door right here. There we go. I do also really like the closed off floor plan because I mentioned this a couple of times already, but I do imagine this is an older place and downstairs has been more renovated for customers, but upstairs is still an older apartment. So I'm going to stick with that. The kitchen really needs to have this tile. 
It just looks so delightfully ugly. Did you think these stairs shouldn't be white? Maybe that wood tone. Should I have this tile going up the steps? I kind of like that. That's nice. So the kitchen's definitely going to be here. Uh, I kind of think the fridge would look nice over there. And then we can have counters over here with the, the sink under the window. The stove over here, probably. I think that'll be a good layout. I just want to start by getting all the wallpapers down. Ooh. Oh, it's so tacky. Okay. I think we can have a busy wallpaper in one of the rooms. And I think the dining room makes sense. And then I think something with just paneling like this in most of the rooms. A plain white paneling here and we can change it based on who we have in each room and then I should probably add the doors. Um, maybe around here so it doesn't obstruct the living space. And then here, mm, maybe I'll put them next to each other like that. I don't tend to like to put the doors in corners even though that's really realistic to real life. I don't like it as much in The Sims, but I think it works here so that not everything is covered <laughs> indoors. And then I think the bathroom can have the same tile as the kitchen. That's pretty realistic. I'm still not sold on the fence out here. I do like it, but I think it does have to be white. I think I also prefer it to match this railing. So maybe we should go with the vampires one. Yeah, yes. That's basically exactly what I wanted. Should I have another window right over here? How does that look inside? Mm, it looks okay. We can make it go down a little bit so it's lining up at the top of this door. I think that's pretty good. These ones are a little big, but maybe if we scale it down, that looks kind of cute. I'd also seen some suggestions to have a second staircase from downstairs to right here. So that way we can use this as a front door or use this as a front door. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but we can try it. Hmm. We'd have to get rid of this little balcony thing here. Because I like the idea of it facing outward as well. Oh, oh no. How did that appear? Did that just get stolen from inside? Oh my goodness. Ah, what happened in here? I don't even know if that's where that was. I think this was over here. Oh, things got moved around all funny. I don't know if we're missing anything else. But I think this is it for what got moved around, hopefully. I think that kind of works though, because then it's facing outward. So when you come to park right here, because you live here, you can just run right upstairs. The only downside is this trim is gone now because of the stairs. However, it is the back of the build, so I could probably just extend this over in this one particular space. Uh, and actually, if I delete this, I can just delete that wall. I don't think I mind that. Even make that go onto the staircase so it blends in nicely and move all of these plants over to the other side. Maybe extend this over in front of the stairs so it's part of the walkway. Uh, delete that. And we still have our little mailbox, which maybe I'll tuck that into these plants. Yeah, I think that looks nice. And so then we can walk up from outside and enter through this as the front door. Or if we're going in through this door, it goes directly upstairs and that connects to the back area. So this could just be how you quickly go outside to leave or to go upstairs. So now we have two ways to get in. They're very close to each other, but I think it's still convenient. As for the family up here, I've been thinking about it a little bit and I'm thinking that we're going to have grandpa, uh, mom and dad, and one or two kids or teens in here. I'm not too sure on them. So if you guys have suggestions, please let me know. I've been recording forever now. So I think I am going to end this part here. This is going on for as many parts as we need it to at this point. Point, but I hope you guys are enjoying it. Please let me know what you think of what we've done this part, any suggestions or feedback you have. And uh, we'll be working on the apartment next time for sure because we have the wallpapers figured out and a better idea of who the Sims are going to be. So I think that should be a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys later this week for the next part. And yeah, bye guys. Bye.